gonna be starting a new project, kind of test some things. Mm, I'm gonna be doing what you see here on uh, on screen, like a longer tapestry, and that is bleached. You know, so um, I'm gonna be testing doing that. That is preparing for it today. Do a more cleaner sketch with my references and such. So uh, I feel like I better just jump right into it. Just gonna fix some things here. Just can merge. And then lower. And then lower as well. Let's just, let's just go. So I'm also having the cam up. So we'll see if I decide to use it or not. I think we can start with the skull perhaps. basically just woken up so <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit sleepy and off could you just use the room no? make it easier for my sanity and I can do some imperfections later on. This way I don't really need to worry about um, symmetry. I can just art. But yeah, I'll probably turn the layer off. Uh, once it's kind of done, um, then just go in and uh, add some imperfections. almost always doing like vampire teeth. I don't know why, but it's fun to do, I suppose. I feel like it's too wide, I'm not too fair on it. Can this be like I don't have the rest of the skull yet? Let's so just rip it together and maybe lower, not even more. And maybe work on the right layer. I'm definitely gonna need to like do some styling on this. Maybe add more details, that's what's missing because it's feeling kind of boring and empty. So I might need to come on down. Stacks, it's um, it's not quite what I had in mind. The fuck is the the real? It's not quite. What I had in mind.
is good enough for now, I think. Maybe we should go with him and do. Mm, I was just gonna say there's nothing here, no food. Oh my god, <laughs> the neck and the ribs. Well, as much as I enjoy ribs and necks, I'm not really a fan of <laughs> doing them this detail. So. Yeah. It's the right brush. But I had this as a goal for this year, so I figured I might as well start early on it. You know? Instead of pushing it, being like, ah, I can do it later. I figured it'd be better if I did it sooner rather than later. What the fuck does this look? What? But I think those are quite high up. So those, those. I think those are really like. Because usually you only see a few there. But in my case, I want the neck to be, or the throat to be longer than usual. Maybe I should. <laughs> Maybe I should make it even longer. I think I need to do the skull smaller. This is a bit too big for the ribs. Maybe there. That feels a bit better. I still kind of want it to make sense in a way, not look off. It's very cold. And I know that I won't be having the whole, this whole sketching thing in, so I might just stop for a bit and then pop back in when I've got some somewhere. So I'll be back. Thank you. 
think we have enough to call it for now. I'm quite happy with the ribs. I might do some small adjustments later on. So otherwise I'm quite pleased. I'm gonna try and print it out also. See how it looks on paper in the right size. I guess it's gonna be roughly like A4 size. I think so um, yeah I think I go and print it and uh, see what it looks bye bye um, I don't know if it's big enough I have no idea how I will be attempting to do the teeth I don't even think I have a brush small enough so I can't do lines or anything so I might just have to try and print it bigger, but I don't want to do it too large. So I don't know how I would... See if these are very small like compared to my pinky. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna <laughs> figure this shit out, but at least it looks otherwise decent. So yes, uh, I think I'm gonna try and print it so it's an A4, A4 plus a bit more. A bit, a bit better as well then. But <laughs> do it a bit bigger and uh, see how it looks and if it feels more manageable. So don't use some of the blobs for teeth. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna print it bigger. A little bit better. And I will get back to you. There is honestly barely any difference <laughs> in size. So it might be a bit easier than the first one. So I think I'd go with this because I, I, I don't want to go bigger because it's already quite big. Like this is a full A4. This is still cut from an A3. But it's a bit bigger and uh, I, th I think I will go with this. guess I could just try doing the skull and um, see how I will go about this small deal. Because uh, the other stuff I'm fine with. I don't think that will be too much of a problem. It's just the teeth that I am worried about. I need to buy some new brushes as well. Well, I am at it. But um, yeah, I think this is it for now. I might do a test later on today. And perhaps I will do like the... Take the fabric and cut it to size. Um, I need to try and do one without any bleaching as well. To see that I get all the dimensions and measurements correctly for it to work. You know, I will see you then. Bye. to adjust uh, this a bit. you guys can oopsie daisy there we go there you guys can see that's how it turned out uh, I'm not too much of a fan of how round the skull is so I'm kind of thinking of to adjust it. But it's not as round. Yeah. 
but I think I'll try and ditch this and uh, see how it goes. Now, oops, we went. Let's try. Then I can go over it again. So we'll see how it turns out. I say it's a bit even at its places, but I don't think going in again would solve it. I think I just need to be quicker. I, I don't think I've used this specific fabric before. So. Uh, yeah, I already know how to go about it, so I think it's good if I do a couple of tests on this trip. So it's the next day and uh, I was looking through how I could make stuff. I'm going to continue this and I wanted to see if I could reuse my old thing I used for the smaller tapestries and it turns out I probably can. They're almost identical in uh, size. Almost. So that's pretty nice. So I think I will uh, draw it out on the fabric as well as do a bigger one since it's gonna be troublesome to do it any other way. So I'm just gonna make a bigger one. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Now I have a long one, so I'm gonna get started on doing a test before I do on the actual 
fabric that I wanna bleach on just to see if it works as I want it to. So I will get onto that. We're gonna move upstairs so I can sew on a different machine. Start up here. Fuck. Forgot to turn on the lights. Here we go. We're gonna be sewing on this. So this is what we had last time. I, I think I just had it cut, it cut out and maybe sewn here at the edges. Uh, but I went ahead and did some ironing off camera and then I have been away for like two weeks from this project. So today I yet again off camera cut out the one in black. He's having a hard time focusing. Sewn it and uh, iron it. Um, so I've just been trying to figure out where on here I want it. So uh, the next step would be transferring this sketch to the fabric. This is where we're at currently, um, and I have been thinking about what I'm supposed to do with this. Because the first, the first thought was to do a, like a fade, so it fades inwards with bleach. But um, I don't think I have the patience to do that. So um, I also thought about just stitching here with a similar color. This should be easy for me to follow the lines. The only similar ish I have is this, and it's not, it's not really the same. Uh, I don't know. I could also use the, the bleach border, like 50% or something, so I still get this border because I that it's a part of the design to have a border. This is where we're at. 
So I'm gonna sew in the I'm gonna do some sewing uh, with the black thread. I had considered using uh, this kind of orange, but I figured black would be better, I think. So if I screw up, it won't be all that noticeable. You will still be able to see it, but not as much as if it were uh, orange. But before I start doing that, I need to actually change the thread. And I'm gonna draw some guidelines. I don't want to do wibbly wobbly, I want to go as straight as possible. So I'm going to do some guidelines since I need to be very close to the edge. Here is my mistake, totally, but I need to be very close to the edge. And I'm not super used to this machine in sewing at the edge and sewing straight. So yes, some guidelines and then I should be good to go. I think this is a better view of how it's currently looking and you can see here is where I need to be deadly close to the edge to not sew in the bleach because that would be very visible. hard to see but I feel like it helped a lot having the guidelines so I'm since it gets kind of bulky at the back and when you start and finish I'm gonna try and fold this it needs to be folded so the stick can go through you know so I'm gonna try to do my best to draw a guide on the front so I don't get any bulkiness here hopefully because otherwise I would have had to sew it from the back and since when I end it gets bulky that means the bulk will be on the front and I want to avoid that so I'm gonna try and see if I can manage somehow you know, it's almost straight Almost. <laughs> the straightest I've ever sewn, it feels like, so that's good at least. I'm gonna see if I have any sticks in here. I can try it. Works. Nice. Now I just need to shove this in the washer so I can get rid of all the white marks from the pens and other things and then it should be completely done <laughs> 